Hey, you guys, look at my rupee counter. Triple sevens. I'm feeling really lucky in this episode. Uh-oh, echo, echo, no, 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 I had to turn down my laptop. What's up, you guys, and welcome back to the next episode of Skyward Sword on Artsy Online. On the last episode, we discovered that the place that we haven't looked at in the Faron Woods was inside the Great Tree itself. We climbed all the way to this room and fell to the bottom. After raging for a bit, we decided to cut the episode and get back to here off screen, which I did. So let's find out what's behind this door or walkway. Oh, a bird statue. Of course there's a bird statue right behind the place where I fell. I'm just going to save it so I don't have to ever do that again. There we go. I mean, it's not that climbing the tree was hard. It's just that I had to do it like three times. Three! Ugh. Oh, hey, Blue. Now that the blue one's dead, it should be a lot easier. Goodbye. I'm keeping my triple seven rupee count. I need to feel lucky. Nope, not getting that rupee that fell back there. I'm almost at the top of the tree. Fee? Master, listen closely. Do you hear that? Yeah, I hear that sound. It's the... <laughs> Shut up. It's so loud. Wait a minute. I'm probably going to find out what it is now. I've been hearing it ever since I've been climbing outside the tree. You have reached the top of the tree. From this vantage point, you have a good view of the woods. Perhaps you will see an area you haven't explored. There it is! Master, look up there! I have confirmed the discovery of a new Kikui. Analysis indicates a 90% chance that the sounds we have been hearing were the loud snores of this Kikui. Oh, it doesn't even sound like snores. Kikui! Who's it? I'm napping. Oh, look at that. A real-life human. Haven't seen one of you in a while. <laughs> I used to call me Erbor. Now I'm just the old Kikui hermit. I watch over this forest here when I'm not napping. I don't know how you wandered all the way up here, but let me ask you something. Can you really see me? Sure can. Is that so? Well then, slap yourself on the back. <laughs> you know, some Kikwis can't even see me these days. But forget all that nonsense and tell me, Quirk. What business does a real-life human have in these woods? The flame. You're out of questing for a flame to enhance your sword, Quirk? So that you could find someone important to you, eh? How about that? A human who can see me and seeks a great flame, Quirk. Listen, do you promise not to breathe a word of what I'm about to tell you to another soul? I'm serious, Quirk. I promise. All right, I'll tell you. But remember, it's a secret to everybody. Nice reference there. The flame that you seek is most likely Feyor's flame. Yes, Feyor's flame. The story begins very long ago, when the goddess was still with us, Quirk. The goddess gave the flame to the water dragon, a great spirit presides over Feron Woods. The way I hear it is she left the flame in the cares of the water dragon, so that one day the mighty dragon could pass it on to the one from the sky. You see, Quirk, I got a hunch about the goddess who was talking about you, lad. Well, that settles that. You must seek out the mighty water dragon. My guess is that it's over there. Her lair is deep in the lake in the south of these woods, Quirk. She watches over the flame there. There's a problem, though. 
the gate that leads to that lake is sealed shut to those judged unworthy. But don't worry, Quirk. I'll let you in on the trick to opening the gate. To open the gate, you have to channel the power of the goddess into the symbol carved into its doors, Quirk. Oh, but it isn't so simple. The symbol is incomplete. To unlock the gate, you must make the symbol whole. The only way you'll know what the completed symbol should look like is to first find that same completed symbol somewhere else in these woods. The gate is down south, so it's likely that there is a matching symbol somewhere up north. Try searching near this X quirk. Is all of this seeping into your head, lad? Do you know where you must go to find the symbol you seek? Got it! And I wish you safe travels, lad. Oh, wait up! I forgot to mention this earlier, but it's important. Her Excellence, the Water Dragon, is very persnickety about manners, so watch yours. I've heard stories of folks who caught her in a fussy mood. They ended up as mid-morning as snacks quirk. I probably taste like old cave moss, but I'm not in a hurry to become a royal meal quirk. So don't let her know I told you about Fae or Flame, okay? And remember, when you're in her hall, you better be on your best behavior and be a gracious guest. I'll be here napping if you need some of my elder wisdom. See you around, Quirk. I gave him a pretty epic voice for a scraggly old man. So now we know that we need to look up in the north. And I've placed a beacon already of where I need to go. So, screw bats die. So now we've made some progress. But first, let's mark our path. So let's see, we gotta go there. There. And there. Come on, Kikwi. Gotta find the blue beacon. Where are the blue beacon? Oh, God, plant. There we go. That's where they are. Okay, first beacon found. I'm just gonna mark them out of the map once I find them. Makes sense. No, I'm not. Fine. Wow, that was the... Wow, I didn't even lock onto him and I killed him the fastest I've ever done. I'm impressed. Very impressed indeed. Okay, we don't need to get rid of the beacons now. I know where to go. So we need to find a crescent moon-like shape somewhere in these woods so that we can then open the door. But where? There it is. I estimate an 80% probability that this symbol is the one the hermit was describing. I recommend you memorize its shape. How come? Um... Which way am I supposed to be looking at it from? Eh, fuck it. Okay. I know its shape, so let's do this. Follow the beacon. Follow the beacon. We're only eight minutes in, and we're doing great. Follow the beacon. Follow the beacon. This fat moblin can go fuck itself. Okay. <clears throat> So we know that the beacon's all the way in the back, and we're heading in that direction, generally speaking. So let's not give up, never surrender, because we will beat this game someday, but not today. I know it's not going to be today. Unless we only needed to find one flame, then I can be happy for the rest of my life. Knowing that I beat a Zelda game for the first time in my life on the internet, so that everyone knows that I did do it. I did it, but not yet. Ow. I did that, though, just now. Let's just keep on going to the beacon. I don't know why I'm singing a lot in this episode, but I know that I'm gonna beat this game. Ah! Ah! Oh, 
I wasted all the st stamina. Stamina. There we go. Ow. Ow. Ba boom. Gotcha. What now? Uh. Let's look at objective. According to the Kikui Hermit, Yerbal, the Water Dragon guards a sacred flame that will enhance your sword. You require more information on the flame to obtain it. You will need to speak with the Water Dragon who resides at the bottom of the lake. Current session plate. Mm -hmm. Um, advice? Let's try advice. Um, hint. These are the Pharaon Woods. Dangerous plants in the... Oh, God. Power of the Goddess, maybe? Wait, Power of the Goddess. Skyward Strike. Close enough. I did it. I made it. I figured things out without a walkthrough. I am a genius. Master Link, you should be aware that I have calculated an 80% probability that a sacred flame lies beyond this lake. Stop with your percentages, Fee. I know it's down there. Okay. We're on our way, Zelda. Well, after I get the flames. You know, I need to burn my heart a bit before I can actually date you. So, alright. It's a long fall. But we can make it! Whoa! Jeez, Link. That water dragon really does give you the skills to swim and dive. Lake Floria. I like that name. I like it. Well, more on the map has been revealed. There's still some areas and other places we haven't explored, and I'm guessing that's where we're going to find the flames. There's one in Elden Volcano, and in the Linnaeus Mining Facility. Oh wait, no, it was called something else. It wasn't called the Linnaeus Mining Facility. It was called the Linnaeus Desert, that's right. I just spent more time in the mining facility than the actual place itself. Woo! Following the stream. Whoa, eels! Is that... Is that the water dragon? Eh, another human. Okay, okay. I just have to avoid eye contact and back away slowly. No way. I'm a fast swimmer. I'm following you. Cause you know where to go. Quit following me, pest. If you don't move along, I'll be forced to tell her excellence, the water dragon, about your little incursion. Yeah, I decided to do a voice with the first line, but now I'm not going to do a voice anymore. I just don't want to. Ha <laughs> ha! Didn't see that coming, did you? Yep, there's no way you're going to be able to follow me now. So what now? Are you going to cry? If you think you can make it through, just go ahead and try. Hey, you rhymed on the fly. I made it! Gah! How is that even possible? I've never seen a human pull off a spin like that. Wait, that's a water dragon scale. Does that make you the emissary of the goddess, like the water dragon said? Hey, I've got an idea. Maybe you can help her excellence. Hmm, what's wrong? Yeah, about that. It happened really recently. This weirdo came in here with a gang of monsters and he went right after her excellence. My lady, the water dragon, is a fierce fighter, and boy did she gobble up most of those monsters in the first few seconds. Thing is, there were just so many of them. 
While she was distracted, the weirdo leading all those creatures managed to wound her. She's heading up now, but she says we don't have enough special water for her to make her full recovery. So could you please go talk to her as to her excellence and see if you can help her out? I'll even take you to her. Follow me. Alright. Oh shit, I'm gonna drown. I need a bubble. A buble. A Michael Buble. Let's just swim. I don't know any songs by him. Well, I probably do. I just don't know. A lot of singers sound the same. Eh, thank you. Time to do a spin. I wonder what this water dragon looks like. From my analysis, 90% probability chances state that she looks like a water dragon. Huh, that's weird. I was expecting to meet up with my friend here, and the path is blocked with a huge boulder. Lovely. Now what do we do? Uh, we use bombs. Okay. So all we need to do is spin this guy. I did it! Hi, dude! Well, now what? Eep! Don't eat me! Your Excellence? Me, the Water Dragon? No! You're looking for Her Excellence? You possess one of her scales, so you must be a friend of, for a friend to our kind. I will tell you where you can find her. The water dragon lives just a little ways up from here. If you want to make a good note of that, now's probably the good time to do it. Beacon. It's a secret to everybody. <laughs> really? Twice in one episode. A secret to everybody. Oh, God. No, get away. I want to... I Go! It's a secret to everybody. Three times! Ah! Okay. There's the beacon. I did it! That's definitely where we need to go. Oh, there's more! Lake Floria, you tricky bastard. Oh, now that's news using your noodle. Her Excellence is just up ahead. Over this way. I was gonna go save it in that bird statue. I think I should go do that now. I wonder if I could save underwater. That'd be interesting. No. Come on, come on, come on. We can do this, we can do this. Aw, we can't save it underwater. Well, that was a waste of time. Let's just keep on trucking along. Ooh, a bubble! Come on, water dragon, show yourself. I need the flame in the water area. Yeah! Link is a dolphin! Again! Wow, perfect jump! I'd call you amazing, but I think we both know it was the water dragon scale that made that little stunt possible. We all know it was. Link's a horrible swimmer. Just look at him. Let's go. So, how are we going to fit through here? Ow! Wait, oh, I know what I need to do. Okay, let's back. Whoa! Okay. Where did it... Uh, no, go back down. We're trying to do stuff. There we go. <gasps> Bird statue! Yes, I'm definitely saving it. Alright. Cool beans. Wow, this place is beautiful. <sighs> I can never get over this game's graphics. It's on the Wii, and it looks fantastic. Uh, what a beautiful game this game is. <laughs> that didn't sound redundant. I won... I know that I've seen the graphics of, like, a lot of other Zelda games, like Wind Waker and Twilight Princess and uh, Ocarina of Time. They all look really great for their times. I mean, especially Wind Waker. Wind Waker is probably the one that aged the best. I'm not saying that's... I'm not counting Skyward Sword, because this game's the most recent. It's aged very well, though, but the time that it's been out. But Wind Waker is definitely a game I want to try on the channel. Yikes! Oh, they're back! That's one of the fish that Weirdo brought in here and used to attack her excellence! Watch out! They're mean as they come! Um, so what do you want me to do? 
Well, it has an X on its forehead. Maybe I can spin into that. Oh, so I was right. Wow, the goddess sure knows how to pick them. You did great. So, what now? Come on, homie G-Dog Shizzle Slice. Where are we going now? Oh, this looks like a door. I'm guessing we need a key. At last, we're here. Her Excellence, the Water Dragon, is just up ahead. Hang on just a second. Oh, so he's the key. Or she. It's the key. Wow. Okay. Please, come in. Alright, I'll follow you. That's what I've been doing this whole time. You really are a big help. It's a good thing I know how to do this. Water Dragon, please be here. You said she was just up ahead like three times already. Ah, where is she? I guess I gotta go up and find out. Is that her? Are you her excellence? Ah, you there, human. You have intruded into my home. A sacred place few are permitted to enter. This is no place for such as you, and yet here you stand. You will explain how you got here, and quickly. Water Dragon? I am. Those with manners addressed me as Pharon. Oh, it's her woods! Warden of the woods. I was appointed by the goddess herself. Though my current stature is less than, well, intimidating, shall we say... Know that you stand in the presence of a loyal servant of the goddess. Hmm? I say, that's one of my scales you have there. A sacred gift such as that could only be carried by the goddess's chosen hero. But could you really be him? This raises questions. Even with that scale in your possession, finding my hall is no easy task. How did you find me? Ah, yes. Cackling old hermit Kikwi told you where I live, didn't he? Honestly, I can't remember how many times I've told that scruffy thing to keep his mouth shut. That's the last straw. Next time I see him, he's dinner. Don't touch him! Oh, but I digress. You've come here to seek a sacred flame, have you? Of course. I knew it. But I'll be straight with you. A shrimpy boy like you hardly looks the part of the goddess's chosen hero. There's no doubt about it. A test is in order to prove you're everything you say you are. Shortly before your arrival, I was attacked by a pompous creature calling himself Girahim. Aw, oh, fuck that guy. I stood against his self-proclaimed demon lord, but I was wounded in the encounter. The wounds he's given me are stubborn things. I have been forced to recuperate in this basin of sacred water. Unfortunately, the healing properties of this sacred water have diminished and I am now in need of another dose to freshen up my healing bath. Bring me the container of fresh sacred water that I require. Do me this favor and I'll gladly show you where to find the sacred flame you desire. What say you? You got it. I am analyzing the water remaining in this basin. Excellent. I can now help you douse for the water type you are searching for. Thank you, Fee! Oh. Master. You do not have a container suitable for transporting water. Please prepare a vessel for this purpose. If you continue down this way, you will find an exit back to the woods. Excellent. Now run along. One does not keep a dragon waiting. You're a dragon. So we know it's through there. And there's a lot of things going on right now. I think... I need to empty a bottle, so I'm going to use this. That way my shield is full and I have an empty bottle. Well you guys, I'm not sure if there's a bird statue anywhere in here. 
There's not, so let's go back to Farron Woods before we wrap things up with this episode. We're already a bit in overtime anyway, so might as well just keep going. Damn it, almost made it. Jesus, man, that is so much fun. I made it! Alright, here we go. Out to Farron Woods. Wow! It's glorious! But first, I'm gonna save the game. Alright. Oh, wait. No, not save and quit! Oh, well. Well, you guys, on the next episode, we're gonna go travel to that waterfall and see what surprises await us in this epic adventure of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I hope you had a good time on Ride Time. I will see you all next time.